I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. If the global economy is slowing, it's not necessarily showing up in the earnings from some of the world's biggest companies. Apple has reported on the holiday sales trends. And remember they were warning about how iPhone sales were slowing and basically lowering expectations for how big of a profit that the company could make. Well, Apple had stellar earnings even with uh, the slowest iPhone sales in the holiday quarter in recent memory, as this is a company that still made close to $20 billion in profit in its latest quarter on $84 billion in revenue. And uh, even with the iPhone sales slowing in some markets, Apple says it's actually going to adjust prices outside the U.S. because people have been balking at those high price points. They still had $51 billion in iPhone sales, and it's the services side of the business that is really gaining a lot of strength. And this is the fastest growing segment of Apple's business right now. Investors who had sold the stock down about 27% from its recent all-time record high today had it back up by more than 5% in Wall Street trading activity. The Boeing company is the world's largest aircraft maker. It is a giant in aerospace. And today, it was lift off for the share price of Boeing, came very close to a record high after the company reported record-breaking 2018 sales, $100 billion. First time they've ever reached that level in the 102-year history of this company. And they're forecasting even bigger sales this year, not seeing too much of a so slowdown in overseas activity, even with the U.S.-China trade issues. Boeing is seeing huge sales results for its new 737 MAX aircraft, along with the Dreamliner 787 and the 777 Jumbo Jets. McDonald's quarterly sales in the United States were up by 2.5%. That, though, was below consensus estimates. Where McDonald's is seeing a lot of growth, international markets, including right here in Canada. The company is putting a lot of money back into the business, specifically in the United States, planning a billion dollar spend on over 2,000 U.S. locations. New menu offerings have bolstered the bottom line at McDonald's. Share price today up by about 3%. And Advanced Micro Devices, one of the world's biggest makers of computer chips, it too is forecasting good times ahead as it saw better than forecast sales. And that stock was up 15% today on Wall Street. Well, don't be surprised if we've seen the lowest price for gasoline. We saw some inventory data out of the U.S. gasoline and oil market today, which showed that uh, inventories were moving higher and that the, a larger than forecast demand for refined gasoline. Now, that's actually kept the price recently very low. We've seen it below the 90 cent threshold here in the GTA recently, but uh, the peak price uh, may be going up one cent gain tonight, according to Enco, but still below a dollar per liter. And the Canadian Stock Exchange operators are holding the lottery today for the pot ticker symbol. That one came available when Potash and Agrium got merged last year. It is expected to see so much demand for that ticker symbol that they held this lottery. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait until possibly Friday at the earliest for the grand revelation of which company has won that coveted ticker symbol on the TSX.